who you want to take with. I've done that. <laughs> yes. You told us last last time. He chill. Many people are like, you, because we look so good together. Like, seriously, <laughs> people are like, wow, nice couple. I'm like, that's like a K-pop singer that just like photoshopped into. Like, so sad. <laughs> True. <laughs> But this uh, uh, photo booth are actually really mm. fun. And it's a fun experience for foreigners because we don't have this back home. Mm -hmm. So this kind of stuff can be really fun for them. Yes. And I would end this epic night with a visit to one of the must-do things in Korea. Yes. The Norebang. The Norebang. You would take your friends to Norebang? Yes, I would. Have you done it? No, I haven't yet, but um, I will take my friends to Norebang. I, I, when my family comes next time, I am definitely gonna take my parents to one. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. Yeah, so therefore, mm -hmm. let's take a music break with Simon D, one of my favorite songs to sing in Norebang, yep. with Chane. Chane. <laughs> It goes one, two, not bit to bit two, three, four, no bing good bing good, five, six, 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 Yes, that's Woo! cheers. 
Chane. Chane. Makes me want to party every time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this song gives me so many awesome Norebang memories. <laughs> um, it's incredible. You know how songs can make you feel like mm -hmm. remember many things? Yes. <laughs> True. And how about nighttime? Anything in mind for your friends to enjoy then? Of course. <laughs> nighttime. If and when my friends are not too exhausted and if they're in a great mood, I would take them for a night out in Seoul. True. Go dancing in the fun clubs in Hongdae nice. or around Gangnam. Gangnam. Or the more posh side of Seoul, Apgujong. Apgujong. Clubs in Korea are really fun. And they're really nice and they're very safe. And I recommend young people to try it at least one, mm -hmm. once to see, you know, the typical Korean club dancing. Yes. There is a typical Korean club dancing. I can say that. Mm. And which is kind of different from, you know, the club dancing back True. home. Mm. Uh, when I first saw it, you know, because people here in Korea all dance towards the DJ. DJ yeah. And when I enter, I was like, what are, is this some kind of, you know, performance? No, <laughs> they're all dancing towards the DJ. Yes. While back home, we used dancing groups. Groups, yes. You do that in Australia too. Oh, Australia too. But that's more fun. You yeah. go there with your friends in a group and then. Sometimes, you know, random people jump into the group and like, wait, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I do the same. I jump in on like, random groups. But in Korea, it's all just facing just the facing DJ. Just facing the DJ and yeah. start so dancing. <laughs> 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 what do you enjoy most? Um, groups or facing the DJ? Well, for me, groups. Groups is more fun yes. because you're with your friends. Mm. And also, uh, people in Korea have this learned choreography. Yes. That they all do the same thing at thing once. At once, yeah. And they even have the fan chants in clubs. Mm, have true. you? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> oh my god, there's this thing. Everybody, when someone in the club has a whistle and they start doing this thing, everybody knows this like chant. And it's so funny. And, that, and we are always like, how? Like, all these people know. Mm. Yeah. I never be, I experienced a while that I went to club. Yeah, okay. These days. <laughs> These days, all right. Young people have their whistles, and every time I've been out with my friends, we hear like when they blow their whistle, and they, everybody go and do the same thing. Really? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba, and everybody goes, ba -da -ba, everyone. Everyone? And they all know the melody, and it's oh. really random. Like, all of a sudden, like, someone pulls the whistle, every club up. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I should go now. <laughs> After this radio, I'll go. That's <laughs> I'm going to start stretching for my dance. <laughs> no, but seriously, even fan chants in clubs is really fun. Yes. So now I have talked a lot about what to do with female friends, mm -hmm. you know, but can you recommend us fun things you would do if your bros are visiting here in Korea? Well, first of all, I would like to teach them how to drink. <laughs> like, because it's really different. So, yeah, of course. In Australia, we just... It's it's about chillax, you yeah. know. You drink w whenever you want to drink, but yeah. in here in Korea, you have to one shot it. <laughs> Never leave. The it's drink like a sport. It. It's like a sport here. Yeah, it's, it's really like, like a race. It, oh, next one! Whoa, 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 whoa. Next round. Nigga, it's really stressful. And back home, you're just you know you sit down yeah, and sit chill, down. and you know you you have your drink for a while. But here's like oh, oh yes. next one, and then there's all these rules and all these games, yes. and it's like. Very pali pali. Yeah, pali pali. Typical Korean pali pali. Pali pali. Like if you have a gla glass of beer, yeah, you just have time. <laughs> not just, in Korea. It's not in Korea. It's like it's like one minute. I know. <laughs> it's man. not even one minute. It's even worse when you're on Hwesik. Yeah, Hwesik. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. So that's something to experience. And the games. Yeah, of course the games. And the games, yes. Mm -hmm. To survive. <laughs> if you don't want to drink, you have to survive. <laughs> oh my god. Focus. It's, it's a sport. <laughs> Start practicing before coming. Yes. But it's, uh, it has a lot of fun. Yeah, of course. It. Then how about <laughs> um, if La Familia. La Familia. Familia visit. It's you. If my entire family would come to mm -hmm. visit me, they always come in groups. <laughs> my sister, my mm -hmm. mom, and my dad, like if they all come together, I would take them to the beautiful and historical places. Mm. And I would start with Seoul because here we have many big palaces yes. to visit. Mm -hmm. uh, the three biggest ones are Doksung Palace yes. by City Hall. Have mm -hmm. you been there? No, I haven't been there. <laughs> Kevin, where have you been in Seoul? <laughs> <laughs> this is like one of the biggest palaces. By Maybe because I am, um, I was... Uh, tourists in the beginning my stu mm. my class took me to all these places I and see. i took history class. lucky yeah i know <laughs> <laughs> i like the house that has in this palace it's really interesting there mm. is a house that has very european style mm -hmm. 
And it has European style because that's where the king, Go Jung, used mm-hmm. to hold his parties mm. and entertain his guests. Mm-hmm. And then we have Gyeongbokgung. Oh, I've been there. Oh, you've been there? Yes, Gyeongbokgung. Wow, I was worried. I was like, you haven't been <laughs> to the biggest palace in Korea. Yes, <laughs> been there. What, uh, did Finally. you like it? Yes, I loved it. I love that traditional um, houses. Yeah, exactly. So. Kiwatjip. Yeah, and this yeah. is uh, the biggest palace among the five major ones in Korea. Yes. And here you can very often see, you know, traditional performances. And this place uh, was actually the main palace during Joseon Dynasty. Mm-hmm. And, you know, every time I go there, I'm just thinking about historical dramas or, you know, movies. Mm-hmm. And lastly, I would take my family to the Jong- Joseon Dynasty. Changdongguk Palace. Changdongguk. Yeah. It's, in my opinion, the most beautiful one. And what I know, it was the favorite palace among many kings here in Korea. Mm-hmm. And it also has a secret garden yes. in the palace. And it's also very famous and very beautiful. Yep. And this place, uh, and this palace is by Anguk Station. Mm-hmm. And you can also walk to the traditional Bukjeon Hanuk village here. Oh. I would take La Familia to travel also around Korea. Mm-hmm. Then, you know, just staying in Seoul because I feel like Seoul is more f- entertaining for the young people. Yep, yep. So I would definitely take them to south, uh, to uh, Busan also to enjoy, you know, the seafood, Seafoods, yes. the beaches. And then also I would really like to take them to Jeju mm. uh, to enjoy, you know, the beautiful landscapes and yep. the nature. And another place I wouldn't like to miss is taking them to the green tea plantation of Bosong. Oh, Jeju. No. That's not... Ah, oh, Bosong. Have you been in Bosong? No. <laughs> no, I've been it to Bosong. It like an Ajo Bosong. <laughs> <laughs> no, because like in Jeju, they have the green tea. Oh, you've been there? Yes. Oh, because you were in Jeju. Yes. How was the green tea plantation? Oh, it was nice. I mean, to, to looking at the green field. What were you doing there? Full of green tea. <laughs> <laughs> yes just enjoying the beautiful landscape yes <laughs> just that yeah so uh, the green tea plantation of Bosong mm-hmm. is actually one of the most magical places i have been to in korea mm-hmm. the tea fields are actually so amazing and to just walk up to the top of the tea plantation hills mm-hmm. While enjoying a beautiful sunset was unforgettable. True. So I would love to share this experience with mi familia. Woo! <laughs> How about for a date? Where would you take them? Uh, him. Him. Yeah, I would take him. <laughs> I think that I can, even though Korea is very, you know, crowded mm. and Seoul is a very, you know, hectic capital. Yes. There are still many romantic places to visit. Romantic. Romantico. Yes. But I would start my date very early because I would go to the most beautiful garden I visited in Korea named the Garden of Morning Calm. Mm. Have you been there? No. Where where, where is this? (laughs) It's outside of Seoul. Okay. A little outside of like Seoul, center Seoul. Maybe you take uh, the train for like 40 minutes and then a bus. 40 minutes. Oh, so it's not that far. 40 minutes, an hour, and then you take a bus. Oh. And then you take a taxi, and then you take a bus. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and then you roll. <laughs> then you have to cross the volcano. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's just, it's it's not far. And it's such a beautiful place. Oh. Uh, but to experience, like, the real land of morning calm mm. uh, that Korea is often described as, this garden is really perfect to share with someone you really like. And it's really big, and it's very, you know, relaxing to walk around there. And they have like uh, the different plants mm-hmm. they put different music like traditional mm. things so it's a lot of about music and nature see. yes then we would go for lunch in one of their traditional restaurants because they have a lot of like traditional houses mm-hmm. and enjoy typical korean food and after enjoying the nature we'll be heading back to seoul yes and do this you know typical date things like <clears throat> renting a couple bike mm. or go skating nice <laughs> See, you know, K-pop music videos and dramas make you think these are normal things to do. <laughs> they are not. <laughs> they are not. Uh, or go to the Namsan Tower and, you know, put our names on a locker. <laughs> oh, well, I really want to do that. Oh, it's really fun. Like, uh, Only so in dramas. Yeah, uh, I've done that and we did a oh. fail thing. Uh, <laughs> so you have your name on Namsan. Yeah, try to oh. find it. Who's a mysterious person. No, but it's really fun because when you lock it, you're supposed to throw the key 
Okay. Yeah, but my boyfriend back then, he threw it, and there are people walking down, the, so it hit someone. <laughs> <laughs> we just heard, ouch, and we were like, oops. <laughs> so if you go there and put the locker, throw the key, but throw it very far. Yes. And also, I love museums. Mm -hmm. So maybe if my future boyfriend likes science, history, and art, we would go to museums. Mm. And also, um, those are great places <laughs> yes. to escape the heat that can be kind of...